All right, you guys. It is Sunday art day. Sorry about that. I was just making sure that everything was as it needed to be. As we are about to get started here, let me open some caffeine. Ever important caffeine. All right, now I do remember that we needed to add a little bit of yellow to our water where we left off on, um, I think, Thursday. So we will grab a little bit. We, we're not going to do much. Not going to do much. So for those that are just stopping by, a little mouse slurry now. Um, we are attempting to follow Bob Ross tutorial, season three, episode one. Um, now we've followed along with those before, doing some some painting streams with those, with you know the traditional oil paint and all that. However, this time we are doing so with needle felting instead of uh, using traditional oil paint. And we will see how it goes. I had planned on doing the entire season. Probably gonna take us the uh, better part of the year if we do end up doing that just because of how long it takes me to get through things and with us only doing usually one art stream a week I've been trying to add in an extra one here and there as I have time or if the mood strikes I mean, that is still a possibility. It's a little too thick. Let's redo that. It's hard to uh, sneak this with the finger dudes on. Finger doodles. Um, because I can't really get a good grip on them. So, I mean, I could take them off to just do that, but you definitely want to leave these guys on. You might think your aim is awesome and then, you know, something's going to happen, so. Safety first, you guys. I'm not going to do a whole lot of yellow in the water here because I'm not sure. I don't remember how far down the front land comes and I think I'm just going to cover this. So I might have to add a little bit more once we get our, um, we'll do like one more once we get our land in place. So, I really didn't want a whole lot of the yellow in here, at least not until I'm for certain how far down our land is coming, because I think we're just going to cover this. I watched the tutorial through like twice, kind of clicking through, but I haven't rewatched it recently. Because I had to kind of speed click through them to figure out what colors I was going to need. Alright, I think that's all the yellow I'm going to add for right now. Because I don't feel like adding it in and then covering it back up to lose it. So we'll see. I, we'll probably come back and add more of that in at some point. So um, let's go ahead and advance our 
our tutorial a little bit and see where we're going to be at here. Alright, so we need some Van Dyke Brown and we're going to put in our mountain. So we kind of start a oh we start above the pink, oh kind of in the oh our pink's a little high then, um that's okay. Let's see how far down does he bring it? Oh that turned green, okay. So, so he put the shape in and then he's going back over with the knife with a different color mix of brown. I do remember this being a little complicated. So he's kind of doing the highlights at the same time. So our mountain's going to look a little different, just so y'all know. Um, so he's adding some more shadows. It's okay. So he's kind of doing it all as he's going here. And then he's coming in with the adding more shadow. Okay. So he's kind of, oh, Bob. So yeah, we've got a lot more. We wish we should add a lot more pink in here, um, or a lot more blue, to bring everything down further. It didn't look like he had that much blue in there. That's all right. You know, our sky can look a little bit different. This mountain's gonna be tough. Okay, are we done with the mountain? Yeah, kind of. Well, no. Can we get a head-on shot of the sky here? Alright, we're gonna pop, no, there we go, okay, I wasn't sure I could back that up while it was paused. So, this, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, I've not done this before with wool, so we're gonna need to figure out our color options here. Um, Well, we're going to have to start with our dark color. So, I don't have Van Dyke Brown, but we do have Chocolate Brown. So, we're going to go with that one first. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright. We're going to need some... Eh, some thinner strands. So, we're basically just going to try to outline things here. So I definitely kind of want to... Well, this is my preference. I'm trying to snake this and pull it out at the same time just to try to get a thinner line to work with. This is totally me and how I want to attempt to approach this. You guys do however you want. So he's kind of above the yellow, but ours is going to have yellow in the background. That's just how it's going to be. Um, all right, so he's kind of coming off the edge, so we're kind of sitting over here. Well, hang on. Let's figure out how tall He's not quite in the center. Well, maybe he is. Alright, so we're a little bit rounded. I mean, it is our creation, so we can kind of do what we want here. Okay, and that had not been 
attached yet, so. Alright, so we kind of are coming down a little bit. Again, our mountain, we can kind of make it how we want it to be. So this guy's going to be a little bit thicker, and that's okay. Doesn't have to be super, super thick there. Sorry, desperately needed some chopstick. All right. So and definitely take your time when you're doing this. You kind of want it to be as straight as you can. I'm just going to bring this a little bit more to me right here. Now we're just outlining this. We still have to come back in and um, fill in the rest of the color. So. Don't be too, too, too worried just yet. All right, I am going to pick that up and just kind of flatten that out a little bit. So that's not, not terrible. It looks a little volcano-esque at the moment, but we can uh, take care of that here. I'm just kind of tapping in the loose ends there. Make sure everybody's tacked down there. All right, so there's kind of the beginning part here. All right. So let's see. Um, the other one doesn't quite come all the way over. So yeah, I'm just kind of twisting and pulling. It's okay if it's a little thick because, I mean, we're going to fill in the inside anyway. No, not completely the end of the world here. Um, and this one so this one's going to come down a little bit and then we're going to kind of go back up here. And 
Definitely take your time in this section. 100%. You want to you want to be happy with it, right? So there's no reason not to take your time. <clears throat> Just make sure you work at a pace that you are comfortable with. So just gonna go over that last little bit there, just so we're kind of still tacked down where I want us to be. We're gonna start. Working our way back up. And your mountains don't have to look the same as his, like he says. Which is good, because ours definitely won't. <laughs> They definitely won't. Okay, so I would like for this guy not sure if we'll be able to pull it off but we're gonna try see if we can uh, I want him to end a little bit higher here Sorry if my arm's all in the way and shit. I'm just trying to get somewhere where I can hold this. And I can see and you guys can still see. Alright, so we're kind of doing how Bob did starting out here. I'm just gonna make sure we are tacked down there on the edge. I'm just gonna make sure I'm rubbed flat back here just so I have less problems later. <clears throat> Melted in here as we go. Okay. So, not sure if that guy should be a little. He, should, he probably should be a little bit taller, but that's all right. You win some, you lose some. Maybe we can come back and make him a little bit bigger too. If we're not quite happy with his height, we can change him a little bit. We still have plenty of time. Okay, now for this guy. I think maybe about here. Now remember, the inside's gonna get filled in, so it's kind of like a, a whatever at the moment. Whatever it wants to be. 
except I am hitting on either side of my string. So that's not going to help me. And it's okay if they're not, you know, straight. They can be a little bit jagged in here. In fact, they probably should be. To be perfectly honest. Got this one a little more rounded and sort of peaky. Um, that should be alright. Okay, so right now we're just kind of trying to get our our shape in place doesn't have to be completely perfect. I know right now it looks like a, a hot mess, but, and that's fine. Um, it's going to look like a hot mess at this point in time. So everything's right, right on track, going according to plan. So we're going to snake this guy out just a little bit. I want to take this one off the edge. I know his kind of stops there, and he's probably going to have trees that cover it. But um, since I don't know how our our uh, plan's going to go here, this is how we're going to handle it. So we're probably going to have to trim that edge off here, and that's okay. Alright, so we get you all tacked in here. fine. Alright. So this guy in the middle, I do think I want him just a wee bit taller and we can do that. We just need to adjust our our line here and we will do that by adding in a little bit more fluff and just kind of giving him a little bit more of a grander taller feel But, you know, we definitely won't be spot on to his stuff, and that's fine. Everybody's going to see stuff differently, like he says, and that is true. Plus, we are working with a completely different medium um, compared to what he's using. So, we're going to be 
a little bit of a difference going on. All right. So now we're going to start to fill in our, uh, our background areas here. Right, I'm just going to kind of take a chunk of fluff and I'm just going to kind of, again, sneak it together just a little bit. Now the question is, how far down are we bringing our fluff? That I'm not quite sure of yet. That's probably, excuse me, going to be a figure it out as we go scenario. can't see that well on where my line is because my fluff is actually in my way a little bit so let's see can we turn it just a little just for a moment so I can kind of see our edge here. That's pretty good. But we're still going to have some highlights that we need to bring back over the top of this. So he kind of did this one backwards, right, where he used the darkness of the mountain underneath as sort of the base shadow instead of doing a dark color and then coming in with like his blue shadows or whatnot. So this one's going to be a little bit different and a little bit trickier. But I think we might be able to come up with something sort of close, you know. down just to make sure we're in good order here I'm kind of trying to take this in the direction that um, he would be taking brush strokes in. You don't have to do this part, I just am because I find it helps everything lay a bit flatter as I'm working. Alright, so let's grab our next piece of fluff. So it's probably not going to be shaded like his. I, I can pretty much tell you that much. Because, um, you know, he's using a brush and a knife and he can get all kinds of different things happen in there. Alright. So 
kind of the same deal. I'm going to turn this just a little bit. So I can get an idea of where I need to be. against the guideline that I just put in. Now again, no guarantees on how this is going to come out because this is the first time I'm doing this with needle felting with uh, this mountain. So we're going to see how this goes. I guess we can be off our guideline just a little bit, um, providing we're still kind of following the same basic shape sort of deal here. quite sure how far down we're gonna we're gonna take our our um, mountain base here I mean if he kind of stops it above the yellow I mean we're not quite above the yellow um, We're definitely in the yellow because I misunderstood. Um, it really should have been a hell of a lot more blue and pink in here. So how far down do we want to take this? Is the question. Maybe to there. I'm pretty sure he's got trees or some shit that's gonna come in up into here. He usually does. Usually. Alright. So let's grab some more. We're gonna go through a lot of brown here. That's okay. And we have it to use it, right? So. Kind of overlapping just a touch. Nothing too horrendous here. Because, um, it looks like we do have some spots where we're going to be bringing in a lighter brown. He kind of does like a middle shade and then like our light shade. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for that light shade yet. 
I'm a little on the fence about at the moment. So we'll have to see when we get there. How everything goes. All right, now, husband um, did do some work for me yesterday. He was feeling up to it, so we did. Um, try, we did add stream elements to, um, to the stream. Um, we added some stream alerts. So there are a few new things that should happen when someone joins. Uh, when someone follows and when someone subscribes. Something is sort of added for when someone cheers. It's not completely finished yet. It's partially done. You know those are situational things so you know maybe eventually we'll see them go off maybe just I figured it was time to break down and try to figure it out and I finally had an idea for it so before I really just didn't have anything I wanted to do for it, but, uh, you know, now I kind of, kind of have an idea, so we'll see if it works the way I wanted it to, and that the sounds happen that are supposed to. We tested it quite a bit yesterday, but we all know that things can happen when you're testing without being live that don't necessarily happen when you are live. So we will have to see if uh, those things are working if and when someone does one of those things. So. don't know if we'll get the mountain done today. It kind of depends on how long it takes us to get this figured out. It looks like about there's our stopping point. try not to go too much lower than that. That's probably already a little too low based on what Bob likes to do, but, um, you know, we'll see what happens. We can always add more, more mountain, um, before we get to that point, if we need to. Just need a little bit of filler in this section. 
Got a little too much yellow poking through for my liking. section. As we start to get filled in here. So I don't think this section will, will take us two weeks. It, it'll probably take us most of today to get in here to say the very least I hope we can at least get the mountain finished but we'll see we'll see how I'm feeling to stop early or not. Okay, that's a little a little loose still in there in some spots. But that's okay because we will get that filled in. Alright. Where's my, where's my tool? Alright, I'm just gonna kind of fill that in on the bottom. The bottom doesn't have to be precise, because like I said, I'm pretty sure he's got something happening at the bottom. And he was talking about tapping the bottom of a mountain out to create like a misty effect. I'm not quite sure how we'll pull that off. We might have to take a little bit of cream or white or something. Just barely a few strands here and there. Really fluffed out. Or we might just not be able to do that part. I mean, there's some effects we probably won't be able to pull off. And that's fine. We are figuring this out as we go. So there will be some bumps along the way. So that is more than fine. this piece tapped in here All right. and I'm trying to make sure that we've got our our bottom layer good and on there because we're gonna have some uh, some shadowing coming on top and I'm not 100% certain where our shadows and lights are gonna sit just yet so just wanna kinda ease our way into that got a spot up here that is not quite 
filled in with my liking or to my liking. We will work on getting that sorted. So how is everybody doing today? I know we kind of jumped in right away. Hope everybody's doing all right. Our snow is starting to melt. Um, Today was the first day that we've ventured out. Well, the husband ventured out. He took my mom to the store. So. We, uh, we didn't shovel and we don't have a good way to turn around for our driveway. Um, we use the backyard. <laughs> And uh, we kind of have like a, a U-turn divot that we've driven into the grass. It's kind of like a horseshoe shaped driveway. But there's a lot of slushy, muddy, wet snow in the backyard. So we really didn't want to go anywhere. So we didn't want to get stuck in the backyard. There's some spots where it's a little bit deeper than it necessarily looks. I was gonna try the shovel, but husband's like, no, just let the sun get it. Because everything had started to melt yesterday a little bit. So I didn't actually end up shoveling in our driveway. There's only a little bit of um, concrete or asphalt on the one side of the pull-in and the other side is like gravel. So it's kind of hard to shovel the gravel. You kind of just have to let the sun do its thing. If you want to have any hopes of uh, getting out of that side of the driveway. I think one more section going in this direction. And then we'll start to come back around here. And then, you know, of course, we'll go in and touch up any spots that have kind of gotten a little bit bare as we've been tapping in our color everywhere else. So it's taken Bob about five minutes to paint our background in <laughs> and to get everything done on that mountain. It's about five minutes and 23 seconds into this tutorial. So it, this medium does take a little bit longer and that's okay. You all right? Mm -hmm. What is all that? Uh, that is your mother getting you some stuff. Got you some of this. Okay. Got you some of that. Okay. And there's some popsicles in the freezer. 
You also have an additional thing of uh, brownie mix. Oh, um, can we hide those boxes of, of brownie Yeah, they're stashed behind the tin form. The tin form, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I never know. There's a reason all this is in a bag. Okay, um, we're going to have to find that somewhere in here for that. If there's a hook somewhere that we can hang that off of. That will do for now. Okay. Sorry, mother-in-law's coming back and she will just kind of be like, oh, what's this? So. To be fair, she's been relatively good about that. Lately. But. Whenever we know she's she's coming back, we tend to stash our snacks. So that way we're not guilt-tripped into giving up our precious, precious snacks that we don't usually have that much of. What did you give them? Uh, your mother got my, my new thing of snacks. Oh, I thought you were giving it to the dogs. Okay. I was going to say, it sounded... We, we also have some more uh, flour and sugar. What kind of flour? AP flour. Oh, so I'm making bread tomorrow then? That's up to you, but I know we were going to run out of it soon, so... Oh, okay. I didn't know if you had gotten it specifically for something or not. No, no plans. Okay. Other, other than maybe some, uh, some of that fried dough stuff for your mom. Oh, I didn't know you needed that flour for it. I think that's the flour we used for it. I don't know. You're the one that made it. Well, anyhow. I forgot that you had wanted to do that today. Uh, it may not be happening today at this point, but... Oh, I'm going to need the Dutch oven tomorrow, so you know. Okay, thanks for telling me. Oh, I was going to make beef stew, or some sort of beef cube dinner for me today, but then I just didn't feel like dealing with it after stream, because it takes a while, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow for dinner. Got a few loose strands from that kind of patchy section we just did, so just making sure that we're well and truly covered. Just gonna kind of make sure everybody's laying down here, behaving. Alright, so we still have some. Some see-through spots up in there. We'll see about uh, dealing with that here in a minute. Alright, so now, let's see about getting this kind of lead in here. a wider piece. As we start to get this one worked in here. Now, I could have saved us some time and some supplies by just drawing out where things were gonna go. But then I felt like we were gonna have some weird edges happening and stuff. So, because I had that happen on another piece I was working on, so it kind of does look a little better. to just layer it up even if you have to go back and fix some thinner spots like we have right there. Uh, 
Loud trucks are out and about yet again. As they usually are. You can tell people are tired of sitting at home even though probably the side streets are still a little bit of a mess. You definitely see the uptick in traffic. Although traffic slowed down a little bit during the storm, but not by as much as you would think. I mean, I understand some people still had to get to work and that their jobs were still open. But at the same time, those roads were nasty. For a while. Alright, just getting our next bit of fluff sorted out here. Okay. Now me one second here. I just have to do something real quick. Oh, I can't type with these stupid things on. I right, just had to make a note all right so now let's see if we can cover up that there spot in there just a little bit Might still have to lay another piece over that there, but if we do, we do. Probably will. This guy was a little chunky. Probably a little bit chunkier than we needed. But that's okay. We can still work with that. I do kind of want to overlap the color. Well, not really the color, but the section next to it. I mean, it's all the same color, so. That way we can try to eliminate some of the gaps or the thin spots in certain areas. No idea what the husband's getting all 
high voice octave about. I'm not sure if he's excited about something or giving my mom shit about something. I'm, I'm not sure which. She either did something dumb in his mind is trying to figure out what the fuck she did. Or she found something and he's like, oh my god. Not really sure which is the case here. But mother-in-law should be back soon. So hopefully we don't have the stream interrupted by that. There may be barky dogs when she gets back because sometimes they get a bit keyed up when she returns, so apologies in advance if that happens. Oh, hold on, my eyes are bad allergy day, so my eyes a little gunky. Oh. So yeah, we still do have a little bit of a break up in there, and that's all right. We'll fill that in here in a minute. As we get all of this sorted out. Just kind of trying to stay at the same... I don't know if height's really the right word length here maybe. I guess that one little piece should be alright. We could probably fix that. If it comes to it with whatever's gonna be happening at the bottom here. becoming quite attached to our pad there, it seems. Alright, so we'll get our next chunk of fluff. Do a little bit of uh, back and forth here. Filling this out just a little bit, just to try to keep, you know, with potential brush stroke direction. Because we may still see a bit of it as we go forward. want to make sure that we have most of that uh, yellow covered up before we get into the next layer of color because that's going to be a little bit more of a, a thing to uh, deal with there. let it get too far. So it does still feel a little thin in that one spot, but I don't understand how it can. Because we've dumped quite a bit of layers over that specific spot. So it's coming back in and tapping all the way across up to 
where we're at right now. Just to make sure that we're all good and attached here. sure you are a piece of pink poking through there now that I'm looking at you. So that's all right. We'll uh, get you sorted out here. All right. So I'm just going to this section up again because that area wants to be just a wee bit difficult we gotta tack this down somewhere right so This guy's the least likely to have trees hanging out in front of him. Because he is right out there front and center. Now we could have done the outline for our mountains here one at a time. That was certainly an option. also kind of wanted, at least for the first one, as we get our feet under us for doing the mountains this way, to uh, just kind of do our outlining area and just kind of get the idea going. and give that a little bit of attention. got that kind of sorted out in there. So yeah, I can see right in here where I just kind of made a bald spot a little bit. We will come back in and give that a little bit more love in just a second. Not sure if that, if you can kind of just barely see it on camera. out there. Okay, now I'm not going to trim this one just yet. The 
is where we get this sort of bald patch split that uh, developed there that we didn't get covered too well. Sort it out. go and start trimming. Just to make sure. That uh, we are good in coverage here. Was the store crowded? Uh, not too bad. So did you turn the car around yet or no? No, not yet. Uh, there is a, a water. I'll need your help getting out later. Do I need to do that right now? No, I can wait till later. Okay. It ain't going to freeze in the time that it's got there. How did it get in the car? Uh, I put it in there. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? No. All Avoiding right. hurting myself is why I'm asking you to get it later. All right. Okay. I don't think you were quite ready to pick that up yet. Uh, I was okay just getting it over real quick. I just probably shouldn't do too much of it. Is this their water or our water? Their water. Okay, just so I know where it's going. Alright. So you said those alerts should happen without stream elements open? Okay. I don't think you have to open anything. I think it's automatic. Okay. Yeah, stream elements is currently on. Uh... I see that it has moderator um, privileges. <laughs> <laughs> it happened on there, but did it happen there? Oh, there there we go. Hmm. Your name's really hard to read. Well, it's the font we have. Okay, so we need I'll, to pick I'll a different tinker, font. I'll tinker with it later to see if I can get a better font for it. Yeah, we definitely need to pick a thicker, a thicker letter. Hi, Zuzu. What's up, buddy? You're an hour early. Why do you always want to go potty when I'm in the middle of stream? <laughs> Why, bro? Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, do I need to take your potty? Is it potty time for Zuzu? Yeah? You have to pee? Do you have to go pee pee? Yeah? Alright guys, give me one second. I will be, well, give me a few minutes. Um, go take a stretch break and uh, I will be right back. I gotta take the dog out to pee.
All right, sorry about that, guys. Puppy had to pee, and he would not be persuaded otherwise. I think he just really wanted to go and smell the car to see where the car had been. Could be. Because he was smelling the tires and stuff. All right. So, get us a bit more floof. So we need to fill in this section in here. See, it's a little thin in this spot. down in here. This section I'm gonna, that spot, we'll, we'll get that taken care of when we work on the other one. So that spot's not too much of a concern at the moment. Make sure that we are flattened out here on the back. Makes it easier to deal with on the front side. Okay. Just trying to roll this a little bit, just a Thicken up our lines here. And we'll have to start bringing this down through the center here. spots where it's going to be um, a bit straighter, potentially. Not too many. So far, I think it's coming along okay. Taking shape. Um, we will be having some new subscriber emotes coming as well. Hey, Mrs. Rock Guru, how are you? I hope you are doing well. This afternoon, evening. We 
can drop that so I don't break the needle again. I can't afford to be breaking needles every week. All right. Actually, let's snake that out. So you're fine. You've been busy with DIYs over the weekend. That's good. Hopefully it came out as planned. Or at least to your liking. So at least there was some satisfaction with the uh, DIY. It always sucks when you've put so much time into a project and then it doesn't come out the way that you wanted it to, or envisioned it doing so. But hopefully that went well. Sometimes it can take a few DIYs to get some confidence under your your belt there, so the next one that you attempt will come out a bit better, or at least you'll have a bit more confidence on how to um, fix it if it starts to go sideways. Yeah, part of the ongoing lounge work. Finally got back to doing it after a break last year. Oh, nice. Sounds like a definite big project. Did you just yell? No. I heard some kind of voice yell something. But uh, maybe it's something on the stream I have running. That. Yeah, it's peaking really hard for some reason. Okay, because if you have your headphones on, I can hear that yeah, quite no, clearly. Yeah, it peaked really hard and I don't know why. Okay. Sorry, I thought someone was outside. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was just out there with the dog and nobody was out there. Because it definitely sounds like one of those big, big projects. We've got plenty of stuff to keep us busy if the weather would fucking cooperate. Because <laughs> a lot of the stuff we need to do is outside. We have an area that had a fence around it that served no purpose. So we started taking the fence down two years ago yeah that sounds about right and um, we were gonna clear out that section and, and put something on the ground whether it be like paving stones or flagstones or or just gravel something um, and uh, life kept getting in the way of that project moving forward and we, we got it kind of manageable to at least walk through it. And then um, everything grew back and we've got a lot of trees, so a lot of seed pods fell in there. So now we have some tiny saplings. We have to figure out how we're going to get rid of them because everything grew back in there. And hopefully uh, we found a, a program that you can sign up for where you could potentially have free um, sawdust or, or mulch or something from, from companies that do woodworking dropped off so that we can try to mulch that area in the hopes of keeping anything from growing back through there. I don't know if we still have any weed barrier. If we do, we might put that down and then throw the mulch on top of it, but I don't know if we still have it in our shed. 
It's been eons since we used it, and I don't know if we kept it or if we used all of it. There's a couple things that we need to do outside. We need to get another small can of uh, outdoor paint, um, outdoor concrete paint or something. Um, the, the white section of our planter box is all chipped off again from uh, the weather and things, so we kind of need to uh, Touch that up a bit. Very far down on the list of things to do, but what was that? Keep up. Stop being a cat. Go on. <laughs> What's he doing now? Keep it. I swear. I think you get in tr more trouble than cow does half the time. That cat loves to get into trouble. I think with cow it just kind of happens, but I think Peabut looks for it. He's a bit crazy. Constantly attacking the ottoman that I have, uh, Momo's food and water cups sitting on. Constantly spilling them. I really need to wash Momo's blanket, but I don't think he's going to let me have it. The next time he's out of that bed for more than five minutes, I need to grab it and throw it in the wash. That blanket's a bit stinky, and it really needs a wash. But before, he wasn't getting out of bed for more than like a minute to go potty on his potty pad, and I would never catch him right as he was leaving. So, a bit of a challenge. to uh, catch him to get that blanket. It's actually my blanket, but he and I fight over who actually owns it. And when he hurt himself, I kind of let him have it. I'd much rather have that one on the bed than the other one that's on the bed. Because the other one we have on the bed is really heavy and it upsets me sometimes with how heavy it is. But it's a little, too much for his dog bed, I think, so. And then I think he'll be mad. Maybe someday I'll find a, a better weighted replacement that we can grab. I've gotten that at a Walmart, so I should be able to, uh, find something similarly weighted at some point. too well. I think we'll maybe call that the bottom edge. I 
I do know I really want to repaint the kitchen. The kitchen needs a lot of attention. But that's going to be quite the project. I want to put some contact paper down on the shelves and get a couple of, um, I don't know if you can just buy squares of, uh, linoleum. I don't think you can, so I might have to just get some, some contact paper, but I need to, um, put up uh, near the stove on the walls because we don't really have a backsplash there for when we're cooking Peabut, what are you doing? Bro, stop No I don't know what you're getting into, but it sounds like you're trying to climb into a box that you're not supposed to be in. Meow nothing. Don't meow me. Just don't do it. You have so many toys. Graham Graham got you so many toys for Christmas. They are scattered throughout the other room, in plain sight. Why don't you go chase some of them and stop digging at whatever you're digging at? And don't step on daddy's art pad, he's not going to be happy if you do. Won't be particularly happy if you step on the keyboard either. Which is where he's heading. <laughs> yeah, why do you think my hand's here? I can't see your hands, so. All I saw was his back leg disappearing behind my view. Don't know what his deal is. Don't know if he's just being feisty. Or if he's out of snacks. Sometimes he's an asshole when, uh, when the food bowl's empty. I have found that most of the time <laughs> don't stop me out, yeah. He's not as bad as cow, but when he gets going. But um I found that when they're being an asshole, all of them are being assholes in the four to seven AM range, it's usually because Their food bowl is empty. Doesn't matter if somebody's going to be up at like 7, 7.30 and we'll feed them then. Oh no. I'll have just settled in bed. And if I don't get up and feed them right then and there, the madness continues so that I can't even try to sleep. Then they all start chasing each other, jumping over the bed, attacking this ottoman, spilling Momo's food and water everywhere, and then I gotta get up and clean that up because it spilled half on top of him, and he's sitting there like, what the fuck is happening? Okay, that went right through the fingerdo. Fascinating. I didn't think it could do that. You okay? Um, yeah... The rustling as you look for something to put on it is not encouraging. <laughs> it's okay enough. I definitely felt it. <laughs> Interesting. It probably would have been worse if I hadn't had the thingy on. Oh, it already closed. It was like a tiny pinch.
pinprick, so it was just the tip that hit it. All right, we're okay. They were all right. That's all good. Okay. Alright, so yeah, today we may only get the base mountains put in, and that's fine. We will be streaming tomorrow. I have got a lot of shit to catch up on tomorrow. Um, we won't be seeing the Blood DK this Wednesday. Because, uh, <laughs> I wasn't feeling well Thursday, so I didn't work on any of my challengers. Like I should have. And, um, I completely forgot that Love is in the Air starts on Monday, tomorrow. So, um, I have to do an article update. And I am only two experience bars into working on the monk. <laughs> and the monk needs to kill... 828 mobs, roughly, if I did the math right, to level up, which was going to be about 41 rotations through her grinding loop, again, if I did the math correct, and um, I'm only like 7, no, let's see, maybe about 80 kills in. So, um, I need to update the Love is in the Air article for WoW Challenges tomorrow when I get up. Unless WoWhead updates it tonight, but I'm not too hopeful that's going to happen. Uh, with how they updated um, the Elders. So, um, and besides, I want to work on the Iron a little bit this week on stream so the the DK can sit yeah that's okay she's getting close to um no oh, oh, fuck it we'll just jump that much there um she's getting close to getting to Shadowlands she's currently 47 I believe so that's okay because the monk is 56 so we, we can sit the, the DK um, another week. That should be fine. Because the monk's taking quite a while because of what she's killing. What she's killing is not exactly the best XP. And I could try to get to another zone with the scouting map, but I just haven't wanted to tempt fate considering how long that monk has been alive but we'll just have to tough it out with what she's killing uh, the moths she's killing in the spot that she's at right now um, they are green to her now so she's only getting like 352 XP. It, it's pretty low. I've been thinking about taking her back to Stormwind and seeing if she can upgrade any gear, but I think the gear upgrades are 57, not 56. So I don't think there's much she can put on. Could be 56 though. Um, I just haven't felt like going back to look. So I don't think she can really handle the level 60 mobs yet. Because she definitely feels the moths hitting her, and they don't do that much. So I think maybe I can try to toughen out one more level with where she's at 
go and get the gear upgrades when she hits 57, if she hits 57. Um, because it's not guaranteed until it happens. And then, uh, maybe then try the, the level 60 mobs. I think that's going to be the plan for her. was that? Oh, our neighbor. Sorry, I thought the mother-in-law was back and was doing something silly. It's just our neighbor. We are expecting her, so... wasn't quite sure what all that noise was about. Almost got this this one done. Just gonna take it up a little bit further here. section and then we'll just tap those loose ends in there that should work pretty well bit of fluff. So we work on getting that bottom edge worked in. So I'm probably down a little bit far. A little bit further than I was anticipating, but that's alright. Like I said, I don't remember what's going to be down in here. And we'll just add some more yellow to the water when we get there. So I didn't add a whole lot because I wasn't sure where the land was going to be and I was like, well, we're just going to end up covering it up. So let's just go ahead and pause that. And we'll get the mountains put in, and then we'll come back and deal with that when we get there. Get our loose ends up in there dealt with. We are good and attached. All right. Let's flatten that out just a bit. All right, so 
So we're doing it a little bit backwards compared to how we were doing it before. But that's okay, because I want to see our bottom edge. I want to make sure that we're getting that in where I want it, so we don't get too carried away. And I can see a little bit easier doing it that way. Now I don't have that tight of a grip on the fluff. I have a slight, like I'm just kind of just holding it out of the way. That's all that's about. Now this one, since there's not that much left on it, I am just going to kind of fold it over and just kind of work those loose guys in there. Try to cover up any gaps we might have at this point. All right. Let's grab our next piece of fluffy fluff. that loose tail down into there. And I'm just going to fold it over a little bit and bring it down in this direction. And then bring it back up a little bit further over. Just because we're getting down to this last little bit here in this section. And that will help get that sorted. Is that the neighbor banging, yeah. or is it your mom? Because that's yeah, a lot of banging. Big black Silverado? I think that's the kid's father. Oh, okay. I see that truck around at times. I don't know what the deal is over there, but I think that's the dad. I could be wrong. It could be just a different family member, but... I'm almost... Not really sure the dynamic over there. But I do see that truck from time to time. They usually park across the street. Okay. I'm just going to get that flattened out a bit. Okay, so if I just have a couple of bare patches over in here that we want to fill in. get that tapped in. Not not bad. I kind of like our our base shape here. Definitely starting to uh, come together. So yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna 
trim that or fold it back, but it's a little thin in that spot. So we'll just go ahead and finish tapping that in. Sorry, I can hear husband tried to call the mother-in-law to see where she was because they were supposed to leave Oklahoma at 1 to drive back here because she's got doctor's appointments coming up that she needs to be here for. And uh, we're like, where are you? Because we don't know how far away um, the one sister lives in Oklahoma. We just know that she's in Oklahoma. And uh, we start to get worried when they say that they're leaving at a certain time and we haven't heard from them or seen them here yet. And it sounded like um, there was an issue. I'm not sure what the issue is. I have an idea of what the issue is, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, what's wrong? Wait, hang on. I think I need to mute my no, mic. You for the, I, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. My mother calls. And oh, I says, thought you called her. Yeah. Oh, I just called her back. Okay. Asking if I can meet them at Asylum Springs. Why are they at Cherokee? The, you beat me to the punchline. Wait for a second. So I say, uh, okay, so I need to come pick you up? She says, yes. I Why? I say, okay, where am I meeting you? She says, okay, why don't you meet me at the casino? Okay, all right. So am I just going to go in looking for you? She, she said, no. And she says, your aunt's going to wait with me. And I explained to her that uh, if she needs me to come get her, I'll come get her. But it's not looking great today, and I'm not really doing great, and going there is going to be a challenge. If that's what she needs, and I do need needs, I will do it because that's what has to get done. They've been but at Cherokee for, for, for this whole Wallace, time playing. That's my guess. And she just doesn't want to tell you that they've been there playing, and now Loretta doesn't want to drive all the way here. Yes. Because now she's tired. And... And they're they're just dicking around, and that's why. Oh, we'll leave at one. They were gonna supposed to probably yes, leave I Cherokee no, at I have one. No doubt they're at Cherokee right now. I have no doubt. She about probably that. just stepped outside, or is in the bathroom, or that something. That would be my guess. Oh, You're... I did hear my aunt in the background. Okay, You're... it's just that. If okay, you have time so if to sit there hang on, wait with hang her, on, hang on. If you could hear your aunt in the background, Loretta's probably like, I want to play before I take you home. And your mom's probably like, I want to go home now. I don't know. All I know is that uh, I told her if that's what she needs, I'll do it. But it's going to be a challenge. And I need it not to be for lulls. I don't need it to be for the joy of having me come out there and get you so that she don't have to. I will do it if that's what she needs, but it's going to be a challenge. Especially with the sun about to go down, the wet, glary roads. So do you have to go get her? Not at this time. I told her, call me if she needs me, and I will start my way up there. But call if you need me. Because that's me. like a 45-minute drive. And my mother got it. So I'm pretty sure she'll get dropped off. And if not, I'll figure it out. See, they, just that... they can't be doing this with the car. like. <laughs> well, Whatever. Oh my god. It was bad enough you had to take my mom to Walmart. Like, what? Good lord. I had a feeling that's where this was going when Russell started to get his angry tone. I, 
I swear the, the, the adults in this family are nothing but a bunch of fucking toddlers I swear nothing against toddlers that are of the appropriate age but oh my god this is like high school shenanigans oh Tina's mom will totally give us a ride home Okay, so I don't have to worry about you getting home. You're, you're gonna be here by this time. Yeah, sure. Time rolls around. I haven't heard from you. What's going on? Oh, well, Tina's mom dropped us off here. Because we really wanted to go here. But she had to go to work. So can you come pick us up? And it's like, you told me Tina's mom was gonna drop you off. No, I can't come pick you up. This is a problem, because now I'm going to have to take Tina home, aren't I? Uh, yeah. And Tina lives an hour away, doesn't she? Mm, yeah. Why can't Tina's mom pick you up? Ugh. I had a feeling the second the tone in your voice hit, I'm like, they're at the fucking casino. <laughs> it's not that they're at the casino, it's that they want to dick around more at the casino and have me pick them up, and they know I have trouble with that. I know, I know. I haven't been guarding my food all day to prepare for a long fucking trip, Ooh. which is what I have to do in order to do a long fucking trip. I know. Trust me, I know, and in <sighs> 45 to 50 minutes might not seem like a long trip to some people, but that's a long trip when you have terrible anxiety, and uh, it's not the easiest place to get to with traffic and everything, and that's a lot of gas for us to be blowing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be worried about traffic, because I'd be taking the main road, but yes, there would be a lot of gas in Tokyo, because I'd be going down to Springdale and then going across. And then coming back, traffic. and that's like yeah. two hours gone. Especially when you're in the middle of working on something for someone else. I'm not worried about that either. It's just the lack of thought and planning. Well, I'm pretty sure it was a suggestion from my aunt who doesn't get it. She doesn't get much. And you'd no, think she she'd would with her stomach issues. That's what kills me. Well, she has physical stomach issues. She's got something going on biologically. Yes, and you just because your issues are more mental, they trigger physical issues. So She don't fucking get it. She doesn't get a lot of things. Just whatever. I'm going She better have her mask on if they're going to be in there. I just, I, I can't deal with the fucking high school shenanigans from someone that's old enough and knows enough to not do it. So while we're sitting here worried that they're not here yet, they're fucking dicking around somewhere. I half wonder if she's in the motorhome and that's why they didn't want to drive all the way down here. Oh, right. Do 
So we're definitely coming together with this section. I mean, we're not quite there yet, but you're packing up? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. How come? Because now I can't. I'm, I've, I've been adrenaline spiked, so now I can't. <sighs> it's okay, I got two out of three done. She kills me so bad. Hmm? She kills me so bad. Do I need to go with you? If no. you have to go get her? Having you come with is not in any way going to be more calming than not having you go with. Alright. Hope the roads have improved up that way. spot up there is just being stubborn about filling in. Okay. Work on getting this angle kind of put in here. And you can kind of change the direction a bit as you're you're going. You just kind of have to tack down. before you change. Just to make sure that you're fully in place there. Pull this up and then we'll flatten that out. We seem to have this color is like really going pretty far in. Alright, this is kind of separated into two strands already for us. So I'm just gonna grab. When did she originally call? When did she originally call? Uh, like an hour ago when I was at uh, Walmart. Still kind of missed that one spot there.
All right. So I do like how the structure of our first one came out. And this is just our bases, because then we have to come back in and add some shadowing and stuff to it. So still not bad. Not too bad at all there. So let's see about getting this one put in here. back along this way. Not really drag, maybe drape is the better word. section of yellow poking through there so figured we would take that piece up to cover that I'm just gonna kind of spin that back downward too shabby if I don't say so. If I do say so. Okay, now this piece I'm gonna try to get our top section filled in there because we do have a stubborn spot forming and that's going to happen it seems like from time to time start to bring this a bit more down. We're gonna have some gaps form here and that's all right we can come back in and fill those over. Pretty good. So hopefully we can figure out why or if that sound didn't play on the follow. The animation worked, so that was good. So that's half the battle. But there was supposed to be a sound that played with the follow. And I'm not sure if it played. The husband had his sound turned down. 
when he tested it. So we know it worked on on the testing we did off stream, off live, but now we're not quite certain if the sound played on the stream itself while we were live. So that's something that we will need to figure out. Okay. Start to work in this over our gap here. Get that all covered up. hair doesn't need to be in there though. That's not yarn fluff. Okay, nobody wants that. So yeah, on Wednesday I'm hoping to, um, after we get the bloods done, hoping to get to the iron. We're going to try to stream <laughs> a little bit early again on Wednesday. Hopefully the internet will cooperate this time. Because I do have a bit that I want to get done on that iron. We need to do some more um, elders. if we can. And then, if we have time, look at some of Love is in the Air. Not a whole lot to do for Love is in the Air for irons though. So I'm gonna focus on um, I think there's like one or two dailies that are pretty safe. But I'm going to focus <clears throat> on trying to get the elders figured out, or at least the safer ones sorted. try to start a bit early on Wednesday if technology cooperates. So that was actually the plan this past Wednesday and then my internet or somewhere between where I was and where I hub through to connect to Twitch, something took a shit fit. Somewhere in that vicinity. But there was also an issue going on with WoW too, because my latency like jumped into triple digits. So that wasn't ideal. Alright. So let's work on getting this spot in here filled in this gap. Mm -hmm. 
So I wasn't sure if I was going to post the full episodes of this on the YouTube channel or if I was just going to do the speed paint. I'll probably do both. I have them archived over there so I don't lose them. But they just weren't public yet, but I'm, I probably will. I just I have to go in and get links and stuff and it's a little more time consuming to set up those ones. Fiber friends here. Like we're getting a little carried away there. Alright, let me just. Oh, okay. You decided to detach yourself without any help from law. That's interesting. There's still a few gaps in there, but let's see what we get when we get that flattened out. So yeah, just a, a few little gappy guys in there. actually doing a little bit better on the amount of brown that we're going through than I was anticipating. So that's pretty good. So when we were first getting started it kind of looked like we were going to go through quite a bit of our pre-fluffed brown. And we still might. I mean we still have this other one to go and the rest of this one. but. All in all, we seem to be doing fairly good. Like I said, I was trying to keep with the what would be a brush stroke direction just so we're not all willy nilly all over the place here. Just to keep us somewhat in order. Probably not going to be real exact, but we can try. Turn this upwards here a bit. We still have a slight gap in there. We'll see if it's still there when we come back around. And start cleaning up this area.
So I think we're going to start doing our other direction here in just a minute. Start pulling our quote unquote brush strokes down the other side. this guy up all right so I mean it's looking pretty good I think definitely making some progress all right so I'm gonna move my mouse because it was highlighting something that was starting to bug me because I couldn't see Now, I'm going to turn this again just for a minute. Can't really see my edge here. And I would like to be able to, so we don't get too crazy. Crunch, 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 crunch. All right. Good and worked in. Okay, so the edge of our felt is going to get a little wonky. Not terribly so, but a little bit because we are coming up to the edge to try to felt some stuff near. So, I mean, that, that will happen from time to time. I'm just trying to work on where I believe the edge of our piece is. and work in this area. Okay, so I'm gonna peel that up. All right, so now I kinda, kinda, sorta have an idea of where we're at. There's a little bit of uh, pink poking through on that edge there. So let's go ahead and just take care of that super, super quick. While we're still in this location. Okay, 
That way we don't forget to come back and deal with that spot later. time to just chill out and work on some art things on our Sundays together. Keep working on our right strokes, I guess you would call it, as we work on this side of this mountain. Surely. Alright, so we've got a little bit of a gap there. We got a little too off of our edge. But we're doing pretty good. We could come back and drape another piece on that here in just a minute. And then we'll just try to tra uh, tack down our outer edge. Just so I don't go over it, so I know where my stop line should be. Let's fill in that little gappy gap. Don't think we need a piece quite that big. So a small guy should, uh, lost my tool. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> this small guy should suffice. to uh, dive back into Parkitect next week. If I have time, I might mess around with a sandbox mode game um, or try to get the 
other optional goal, I might try to restart one of those um, scenario things. Maybe. I don't know. I like. I don't want to fuck up our progress on the scenario, so I'm not sure if there's a replay scenario option. It said that we could play it in sandbox, so maybe. Or maybe it's just that particular map that's now available in sandbox, which that could be what it means. But that was pretty fun, checking that out on on stream on Friday. At least I thought it was. Alright, so just working in our edge line here. to get us good and tacked in place and make sure that we are in place far enough over the edge so we don't get too wonky. I mean our outer edge is going to be a bit of a hot mess until we get done and that's fine. We will deal with it later. up all of that. But in the meantime, we will just keep moving forward here. of where we are currently at. So let's see, what time is it? Okay, we're doing fairly good. On, uh, on time here, getting our bases in. start to do our turn here in a second. I might need to bring this up just a little bit more. be able to put the uh, mouse traps back up in the attic oh probably tomorrow or Tuesday we're probably gonna have to put the camera back up with it though so I'm gonna lose my outside camera again for a little while just so we don't have to keep climbing up there and checking. We can just check the camera and see if there's anything that we need to deal with. They've been having a party up there since the uh, snow and ice and everything moved in, so I'm not really sure how many are up there. There's at least one possibly more. I can always tell when they are moving around and maybe I didn't hear them because Zuzu takes off and then like two seconds later I'm like, oh, now I hear them. 
He hates the sound of their feet in the ceiling, and he takes off and goes into the other bedroom with my parents. Like, I wasn't even sure if he was going to sleep with me last night, because he was just gone. that is kind of flattened out or at least as flattened out as we can be in that section and I just have a little floof guy here so I think I'm gonna use him to cover this spot Too bad. Alright, so let's. I mean, I probably will have to fluff a bit more brown because that's one of the colors that he uses pretty heavily. And I'm fairly certain that we do have more brown coming in this one, so I'll have to try to get some more brown floofed this week. off of stream. Just to make sure that we've got enough, but that shouldn't take me too long. Maybe a half hour to uh, replace what we've used today. Maybe. And just bulk out our brown fluff bag a little bit. Hardest part is finding my brown yarn. And it's in one of two containers, but the containers aren't clear, so I'm gonna have to go digging. But we certainly have enough for right now. For sure. Definitely coming together. Looking pretty good for our base here. Pretty good. All right, let's get our next piece of fluff here. Let's start to attack this guy. To attack, not a attack. To attack. Alright. A 
we can definitely get mountain bases in here. Have to get a little more creative getting our other shades in on top of it, maybe, but. We'll see, we'll see. So we start to get all of this worked in here. As best as we can. Definitely want to keep it from getting a little too um, stringy, if we can, too liney. But I mean, that may happen, it's just the way that the fibers behave sometimes. So I'm going to let go of them. Holding on to them for right now. Zuzu, don't be getting fussy back there. Took you out not that long ago, bud. No, no, no. It's not time yet. It is far from time yet. And you had a cookie. You had half a cookie, sir. It is not time yet. His internal puppy clock is like, Mom, you should be done by now. I don't know what your sense of timing is today, bud, but it's way off. It's wet. It's cold out. You don't like getting your feet wet, so we can't go on an adventure. And certainly not where mom's going to slip and fall outside. becoming very slushy and glompy in the backyard with the way the snow is melting and it's going to be a right muddy mess. We're not going to have any traction out there. And you, Mr. Priss, you hate getting your feet wet. I've had to carry him over puddles before because he's just like, nope. He refuses. Downright refuses to. And there was no other way to walk around the puddle. We had to go through it. Even in the shallowest part, we had to walk through. And watching him try to, to find the spot. Oh, what is this? Hang on, you guys. What's this about? I don't know what that setting is. What is that setting? Oh, manage moderation settings. Well, that's nice. I don't... Okay. Twitch keeps adding new things in, and then they, like, highlight something like, Oh, there's a problem. You need to take care of this. And I'm like, what? Why is there a problem right now? Like, are we sure that this is an actual problem?
Okay. Get this section worked in here. Not too bad. Each mountain's taken us about an hour and a little bit so far. Not terrible. All things considered, since we're trying to be a little bit thorough and making sure that we've got any gaps dealt with. as we see them. Plus, you know, we had to go and take the puppy potty, so my timing might be a little bit off. We weren't gone too long on the puppy potty, though. That was just a few minutes. You can tell when the weather is not to his liking because he doesn't dick around as hard. Okay. Some extra fluff running rampant there. start to work on this bottom section here. Don't want to overlap too hard, but we do want to overlap just a little bit. help with any potential um, gaps and stuff. It may still need to be dealt with. So we'll have to come back in and just tap a little bit more into that section. Alright. We got just a little bit further on this side. Too much further. But we do have a little bit. Mostly down in here. I want to make sure that we don't come too far forward on the bottom. really planning on coming all the way down that far on the other side, you know. Alright. Just doing a little extra tappy tapping. Sure that we're still all good back in there. 
Okay, so maybe about an hour and a half to get all of our mountainy goodness in place still for each mountain. So not terrible. up into there just a little bit before we start working that back down. Right. Just want to make sure that I am paying attention to where the other stuff kind of cuts off there. Just a bit. bottom spot worked in here. All right. Sorry, I just need to stretch for a minute. Take that to about there on that section. we can and uh, kind of needed it right in there as we keep on tapping stuff in I do hope everybody has a good week coming up projects you're working on are going well and that they continue to go well. Because we definitely love it when the projects come together as planned always. Always an awesome feeling when that happens. All right. So, now, let's see about working on our other guy here. This piece is probably a little short to uh, go in that direction. Alright. 
still not bad. I do, you know, we it did cost us a lot of time and work and supplies to put the yellow underneath, but we wouldn't have had like this natural yellow peeking through if we hadn't. So it does work out in the end. All right, so we're just gonna turn this a little bit just so I can see where we are at a little bit better. Like we did with the others. That way we don't get too crazy. I mean, it's alright if we go over our placement guideline a little bit. I just don't want to be like halfway up the uh, the base here and be like going off the top of it and be like, oh, oops. <laughs> that might look a little a little funny trying to bring that one back into uh, into position. might be a little bit more difficult to explain. Be like, well, what happened was... <laughs> Alright. So, I mean, we're gonna have a few gaps in here as we work this into place. The main goal is to not have too many, or at least, at least to keep them from being too bad up here on our edge. I mean, yeah, we can come back in and deal with it, but... If I could hit the brown section, that would be great. Keep hitting the pink there. Didn't necessarily need to be hitting the pink there. Alright. So I know we're upside down at the moment. Sort of. Sort of on purpose. Alright, so we're gonna. Start to bring this down into here. Ooh, stomach scrolling. That yogurt did not go very far. That's okay. We don't have too much further to go today. Well, I, I didn't plan on a getting our mountains completely finished today. I did believe that was a little unrealistic, so as long as we can get the bases in before we finish, I'll be happy with today's progress. So that would be all that I could really all I really could ask for for today. All right, I'm gonna peel this up. All right, we're gonna turn this in this direction. Okay, are we? Okay, we are in frame. I wasn't certain.
Okay, so we get this topped in here. Make sure that we are good and anchored. It's right about in here, I believe, is where the edge of our project is. going to just snip that because it is on the edge there. Just to kind of keep it, all the colors from entangling. It's hard to take the edge fluff back into where we are working because you don't know what other loose colors you're going to pick up at times. All right. So let's keep going here with this guy. Start to get him worked in over here. Should be in the right spot there. I've made our edge a little bit thicker. But I can see that a bit better. But yeah, so far things are looking pretty good. The real challenge will be putting the shading on this sucker. Kind of have an idea of how we're going to do it. Is it going to come out how I'm thinking it's going to? Probably not. But uh, that'll be a matter for the next art stream that we do. Definitely deal with that then. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. That won't help anybody. Okay. So let's see here about. Work on tacking you down on the edge here. I think our edge is somewhere around in here. So yeah, probably definitely I'm gonna end up trying to get a mat to put on this or maybe whatever frame we get will come with one. Sometimes they do. And we can see about trimming the frame if we need to, or uh, trimming the mat if we need to, not the frame. It depends on what size frame we end up getting, too. Mm, 
and that will all greatly depend on a lot of factors. just a little bit there where there's a small gappy gap where we didn't quite get completely covered over. Let me just pull that up, make sure we are pretty flattened out. All right, let's see, here's a small piece of fluff that we can uh, work into that section. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. I kind of hear Russell yelling again. He might just be retelling my mom where his mom is because I think she was trying to figure out how much shit she had to make for dinner take that back down the other way is what I'm thinking. Just to kind of fill that in there. Alright. Next section here. This is a little, little bit thicker, I think, but probably still be okay. Maybe we'll have to do less gap filling with it being a slightly thicker piece. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, your mother was asking about my mother. I was explaining. Her. Yeah, I heard you yelling. Yeah. Is she gonna be here for dinner? Are they eating dinner there? Like, what is happening? I have no fucking clue. It's not my problem. She'll figure out dinner herself. I hope she's not sitting there still expecting you to come get her. I told her to call me if I have to come get her. If she don't call me, well, I guess it's a learning experience. <laughs> Cause holy crap. People don't do what the plans were supposed to be for. So other parties sort of, kind of, inadvertently, bystanderly involved don't make plans to deal with your dumbass not doing what you said you were originally gonna do. Y'all, she hasn't even come back yet and my nerves are shot. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. I just can't. Just can't. Hmm. 
because they want to dick around and be kids. Instead of being adults. This forces us to be adults all of the fucking time. So we're going to start to, okay, well that needs a little bit of gap filling in there. learned this lesson once today even though we had the protector on it probably would have been much worse if we hadn't had the protector on so do make sure that you still use them because that is definitely important I only ended up with a little tiny pinprick and uh, it kind of stopped bleeding the second it started so I hadn't actually bled at first and then I squeezed it and then a little bit came out and then I went to grab a band-aid and then it had stopped so I was like oh all right then There's a couple of spots in here where we may need to um, come back in. And uh, gap fill just a little bit. But it doesn't look too bad. Right where we're at. At least not so far. So that's pretty good. gotten pretty pretty attached to our pad there for a second. I was like, uh oh, this might be a two-handed or might be a two-hander. Okay. I only have a little bit further to go. Sorry, I'm just stretching out my neck. Trying to keep the neck demons happy. I should have probably stopped, but I want to try to get a little bit closer to getting this sorted. With where we are at right now. Okay. And don't forget to hydrate. Gotta make sure that we drink the waters. That's important. Crunch, 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 crunch. You can hear where the crunching gets a bit louder. That we're definitely working through some layers of fiber. You can feel it too when you're trying to go through in the uh, 
thicker areas. But that's okay. That is all okay. sure that we've got all of our loose stuff tacked down here. is our main goal. Get this all filled in where necessary. out. Looks completely different on the back, as it should. As it should. Alright, so let's just take another quick stretch break here. Alright, so we're going to get some more fluff. more fluffy strands. Oh, hold on, I want that color out of there. I'm not sure where that got picked up from. So that was not this shade. Probably a piece of pink that went flying off the side. So the pink definitely looks more pink now that we've got this darker darker brown on top of it. Because before it looked almost white. It was so light. But now really starting to look its proper shade. Alright, let me move this over a little bit. If I had turned the opposite way, so I have to lift up and readjust here a little bit more at the moment. And I probably should just turn it back the way it's supposed to be. I mean, that would probably make the most sense. is about here. Kind of. It's like right along in here. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to get a mat just to help clean up the edge because the edge might end up being a little uneven when we go to um, clean that up. I 
I should probably invest in a rotary cutter at some point if we keep on doing a lot of these guys. Just to uh, try to clean up those edges a little bit better. You go away. But, um, you know, we'll see. I don't know how much they are. I'll have to look into it. I mean, I would imagine they're under 20. I don't know if they'll cut through this. This is pretty thick, though. I might have to just stick with scissors. And I don't have a guillotine paper cutter. I have just, like, the, the scrapbook ones that aren't quite as heavy duty. So I know for certain it's not going to cut this. to finish this, but my neck is starting to get really pissy. I'm not entirely sure why it's being so pissy, but it's really starting to get there. Alright, I'm just kind of fluffing out the bottom section there. I mean, we're not we're not doing too bad. Got a pretty good start in on our mountain bases here. At least I think we do. Let's kind of get that one. Got a bit of a gap here. that we definitely need to clean up. Now a lot of that just didn't quite feel like it was tacked down enough. There's still a little bit of a gap poking through in there. And I don't know why this one's being a little bit stubborn. just have to go back in and uh, I guess cover that up a little bit thicker. If that's what we have to do. See, that's being a little bit of a 
problem right in there. Not sure why. Try to cover it up in this direction then. If that wants to be quite that fussy. We'll figure out a way to handle it. And there we go. Yep, alright, that did it. Okay. So let's grab our next section here. I don't want too thick of a section. Alright, so I'm going to start to put in our our bottom edge here where that needs to be. go too crazy and go all the way down to the water. Okay. We still need to work on adding a uh, a read alert and we have an idea for it but we need to finish um, the cheering and tipping alert first and get that all sorted out Where'd you go? Hmm? Got in the shower. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Get that all worked in there. Alright, let's see. Maybe we can fold this over. And see if we can bring that down. And that way. Alright, as much as I wanted to keep going on this, I think I've hit my limit for today. My neck is starting to get kind of weird, so we're going to stop here. I do have other house chores I do have to go and deal with along with making my dinner so I thank you guys for hanging out with me today um, let me see here where is right, so let me close that window um, uh, blah, 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 blah. stream schedule this week will be Wednesday um, we're gonna try to do some wild challenge stuff internet permitting um, we'll do um, I don't know what we're doing on Thursday 
maybe Stardew Valley. It depends. Um, we might be in Minecraft this week. Uh, Friday, we're definitely doing Park Attack. And Saturday will be dark. And then on sun next Sunday, we'll be doing more art. So, yay. Um, don't forget for my WoW Challenges people, Love is in the Air starts tomorrow. I'll try to have that updated article out as soon as I can. But, you know, probably won't be till my afternoon. We'll see what happens. But I'll try to get it out as soon as, uh, as possible. Um... So don't forget to follow all the places down below. There's the Etsy store, there's Ko-fi, there's Instagram now, um, there's Twitter. Definitely follow the Twitter if you're going to follow anything because I do post when I'm going to go live there. Either that or follow here and make sure you have the notifications turned on so that you'll get a pop-up when I do go live if you're not following on Twitter. Um, yeah, so... Let's see who we can go visit. Um, hmm. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, Oh, right. We closed that. No, stop, Bob. Stop. <laughs> I clicked the window. Um, let's see here. I didn't have this window pre-pulled up, so. Let's see who is on the list and streaming. people are up to. Wow, everybody likes their, uh, their horror games. Okay, well, tell you what. Let's do this. Um, That's not what I wanted. Let me do this. There we go. Um, wait, they're live right now? I did not see them on the list. Hang on one second. I closed that window. Did I really? I don't think they are though. I don't know why that says they're alive. They weren't on the list of being live. Did I just not see them? Hmm. Are they actually live? No, they're not actually live. Okay. So, what the hell, Twitch? Did they just... Did they just go off the air, maybe? Alright, um, let's look in this category. Let's see, who's doing some things and stuff here? Let's see. There's a lot of digital artists on today, but, um, there 
right, I guess we'll go and read this person. Copy that. All right, let me get my things off my fingers so I can type. So let's go check out this person, um, Z Synthetics, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it looks like they are playing Dead by Daylight. So you guys have a great night. And um, I will see you on Wednesday.